Hey everyone, I'm Kristen Burt and welcome to this edition of The Web Files. We're calling this one the pre-Comic-Con edition because we have show creators and actors Tom Conkle and Dave Feeler from Invention and Safety Geeks SVI. And I have a feeling that I'm not going to run this interview, they may. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Is your reputation uh, preceding you? Uh, a little bit, yes. <laughs> um, but we'd be happy to turn over the reins to you. Alright, you know, let's start from the very beginning. Sure. Uh, how did you guys meet? Because you're kind of a modern day comedy team. Yes, right. and there well, are Martin and Lewis. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, there aren't a lot of comedy teams actually. Um, the the art form of it was a bit lost uh, in the '90s. There weren't a lot of teams where you'd go, "Oh, did you see so and so and so and so?" And we always enjoyed that kind of comedy. And we met doing a show uh, called Beyond the Fringe. Beyond the Fringe. Mm -hmm. And and Tom took the Peter Cook parts, and I played right. the Dudley Moore parts. Right. And ironically, in real life, they became a comedy team in the '60s of Cook and Moore, and uh, we just fate. we got on great. And and you're really lucky to find someone that's a friend and that you can work with. So um, we we act out all the parts, and then we kind of know well that's a Dave part, that's a Tom part. We'll do that because you guys um, have a feel for each other's exactly. style and comedy. Yeah, exactly, and, and that's what really led with a straight arrow to invention because that's two guys sitting with the chemistry, saying funny things, and it doesn't rely on any you know fancy effects. It doesn't rely on anything. Yeah other than verbal wordplay and the characters. Yes, I'm here to foster the beautiful relationship between man and machine. Yes. Well, hair loss is incredibly debilitating to the male ego, a sign of advancing age, the loss of vigor of youth, the negative aesthetic of boldness. Uh, finally, the giant electric hairless toupee makes all this a bunch of nonsense. You're looking at invention, which uh, to me is just pure, simple comedy at its finest, but then you move into something like Safety Geeks, which relies on right. technology, green screen. Yeah. How did that come about for you guys? Because to me, it's yeah. a little bit more, um, it has more layers to it. Yes, and it's a step back from just us. It's us putting our vision beyond the page and conveying it, communicating it first to the people that have to do it, and then hopefully from the people that did it directly out to the audience. So yep. there's an extra step. And and I think for, for Dave and I, what happened was we wanted to do something that had sort of um, an adult swim anarchic quality, but we, we don't have a background in animation. So we yep. said live action animation style would be a lot of fun. And, and unlike the animation, you get to see the, the nuance of the human face, right. and we love performing. That's it! Let's save a life. And look good doing it. Yeah. Now how much of that is, is improv and how much is scripted? Because I feel like a lot of it just lies 90, out of your mouth. About 97% is scripted. Yeah. Really? Yeah. We, so you're writing ahead of time. We, yeah, even when we perform live, we will get people coming up going, that scene where you guys cracked each other up. We wrote in and rehearsed the crack up. So yeah. the, if, we, if we break up in a scene or we laugh or something, it's usually calculated. So, so all the improv happens while we're writing. We will laugh until four in the morning writing, but, but we're very much uh, old school actors. We will rehearse it and mm. hone it down because I think if you know it cold and you know that you need to hit those points, then you can play. <laughs> oh dear, what fun. What do you say to someone that's just coming out of film school looking to do something on the web? How do you start well, at this point? I think what's critical, which is true of any media you're going to work in, it's have a good idea, first of all, and then do it really well. Yeah. We're posh. Professional, occupational safety and hazard. Now, yeah. you promised me uh, a behind the scenes look of your green screen yes. and how that functioned and worked. So we're going to uh, take it over uh, go to into the, the hangar. Uh, into the studio. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. go into the hangar area. <laughs> OK, you guys promised me the green screen. We're standing yeah. in front of it. Yeah. Uh, now. And I already went too far back. I already got yeah. yelled at. Well, you're seeing the beginnings of a key right now. This will be the hanger, if we add an even amount of light, okay. all of a sudden, whoa! Whoa, look at we that. We got a hanger. Now back there you'll see safety, safety one. one. Look at there's that light. One. There's okay. the, uh, the, the lighting there. Now if you were to be keyed in this, we would want to match the light here with the light there. Okay. So usually you're shooting the principal people first. Where would I need to stand if I was going to be in a scene with you guys? If you were going to be in a scene, you could certainly be here. You could be a little bit forward. You don't want your shadow to fall onto this because the minute so, your yeah. shadow falls on it, Bad, okay. So you're gone. So it's all about getting the light to be there and not here. And, and the camera, yeah. the reason they use green is green has the information in it that video can most easily read. Uh, it used to be blue screen because film reads blue more intensely. Ah. So they change from blue to green. And, and green is a color that doesn't occur in human skin very much. Right. Unless you're very ill. 
So you guys are really standing pretty close together when you're talking in the scene. Yes, yes because the camera are. reads space differently than you and I. Yes, and so, in and green like screen you. you can be moved you. over, you can be blown up in high definition, you can take a two shot and actually make it a single shot of you if you wanted to use it. So you talking to Dave, for example, mm -hmm. saying, hello Dave. Hello Dave. Now this could be That's a two why shot. Actors. Or we zoom in on you in the same shot, and that same exact shot, we can look like it's a single with no Dave in it whatsoever. Or we could actually stack you, have you be in the foreground and me in the background, yeah. if we've shot us separately. Which was is that how you did it with Hopkins, like shaking his martini? Yes, yeah. he, he yeah. was never in the room with us, so we would take elements, like when you're, when you're shooting, you always go, I want to have someone in the background doing this or that, so you shoot them as separate elements, and then time them in the background. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. And, and with comedy, have... timing's everything, so you can control the timing completely. Did you see that flashback? You saw it, didn't you? Otherwise, I'd look nuts. Are you guys gonna totally like, you know, humor me and do Charlie things? All right, Charlie. Right Ready? Okay. All right. Okay. Save the geese who get food. Done and done. I want to thank you so much for oh, joining us pleasure. here. Thank I want to wish you the best for Comic Con. Thank, thank you. We hope yes. to see you guys. At yes. Comic -Con. Safety geeks, SBI, and of course, invention. So definitely check them out. And I have to tell you guys. This episode of The Web Files is closed. I'm Kristen Burt. We'll 